going to do is take this experience and relapse, obviously, right? I'm not going to go and hang out, you know, with my buddy. I'm not going to go and try to save him or work out his legal issues or give him advice um, because we're people, because in recovery, we want to help people, right? And so if we run into an old friend who's struggling, that's a perfect opportunity for us and it even feels right and... But the, the fact of the matter is, it's, it's, you know, it's not for me. It's not for us. We, we, you know, just take the experience for what it's worth right then and there and move on. And I think that's uh, a pretty good, healthy boundary and attitude to have uh, in recovery with dealing with old friends. Um, if he does call and ask stuff about recovery, I might share with him a bit. But, you know, I'm not going to go and, and, you know, re, uh, reschedule my whole day. You know, start doing stuff different, start hanging out at old places. I'm not going to call uh, old friends that, you know, were friends of him. And, and uh, you know, I'm not, I didn't even ask him about anybody either. Because if my higher power wants me to know about people, he'll tell me. He'll, he'll put them in my life or he'll some way show me. So this whole experience is, was, was, was a good experience, first of all. But if you're struggling with um, early recovery, early sobriety, and your old friends, you know, I just wanted to share what this experience is like. So it sucks in the beginning, uh, but when you really look at your relationships, uh, I'm pretty sure a big percentage of them is going to be on drugs and alcohol only. Um, and if your higher power wants someone back in your life, they're going to bring you back in their life. Because I wasn't even supposed to go to that meeting. I had no intentions of going to that meeting. It was literally a last minute thing. Uh, I was driving, I was in the area, uh, I said, you know, I might as well go to a meeting, I've had a bad kind of, you know, couple of days, I haven't been to a meeting, you know, I go there, uh, I actually ran into two other people also, but I knew them in recovery, just hadn't seen them in a while, then I run into my old buddy, and so it was a good experience, but, you know, the whole idea is staying sober long enough to get those experiences. So once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you got a little something out of it. You can always contact the show at jvmedia at smartbroadcast.org. That's jvmedia at smartbroadcast.org. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Keeping It Sober. You can ask to join our Keeping It Sober Facebook group page. It's a private page, so everything we post, all your friends don't see that in the news feed, just the people that are in recovery and are members of that page. So don't forget to uh, join that group. Hey guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. I know I had some kind of rough bumps here. I'm just learning this Spreaker uh, software and uh, learning how to broadcast live out of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think I do like it and I might stick with it. Maybe once a week do a live broadcast on what's going on in my week. So if you have any topics, don't forget, give us, you know, give me a call. You know, you can, uh, uh, if you want to be on the air with us, there's ways you can call into the studio and stuff like that. Don't forget to listen to the Keeping It Sober podcast. You can find that on iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or TuneIn. And let's see, I want everyone to have a great week. Once again, thanks again for listening. And guys, I will talk to you later. Have a good Sunday. And maybe next week, we can have a topic that uh, maybe you guys can come and and give us some, some ideas of what to talk about. So have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Always contact the show at jvmedia at smartbroadcast.org and you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Keeping It Sober.